Bernadette Subaru was a sickly child born to a large family in extreme poverty. They lived in Lourdes, a town in the French Pyrenees, in a basement apartment that had once been a dungeon. Bernadette suffered from severe asthma, a disease for which there was no effective treatment at that time. One day, in 1858, while gathering firewood, Bernadette saw light in a natural grotto by a stream near her home. She approached and saw a small young lady. Eventually, the lady identified herself with a mysterious phrase. She said, I am the Immaculate Conception. A simple and barely educated girl of 14, Bernadette had no idea what the curious phrase could mean. The lady visited Bernadette 18 times. Bernadette faithfully returned to the site again and again, even though the local people mocked her, the police threatened her, and even her parents punished her. Over time, however, reports of the visions aroused the curiosity of local people, and they began to show up in great crowds. The lady asked that a chapel be built at the site of the apparition. A spring miraculously appeared there, and its waters were found to have curative powers. The church declared Bernadette's apparitions to be worthy of belief. The chapel was constructed, and Lourdes became one of the most popular pilgrim destinations in the world. In France, Lourdes is second only to Paris for the number of hotel rooms it provides. Many who make the pilgrimage to Lourdes have chronic or terminal illnesses. At the shrine, they have an opportunity to bathe in the waters from the spring Bernadette uncovered at the direction of the Blessed Virgin. Pilgrims have reported cures from cancer, heart disease, infections, injuries, blindness, and infertility. Hundreds of millions have visited since 1858. Probably tens of thousands have claimed to be cured. Only a few thousand, however, have submitted their cures for rigorous investigation by the Medical Bureau of Lourdes. Of those, less than a hundred have been certified as miracles by the church. The investigation can take as long as half a century. Pope St. John Paul II visited Lourdes on two occasions. He also authorized the celebration of the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes, February 11th, as the World Day of the Sick. The Pope himself was suffering at the time from Parkinson's disease. He urged that Christians keep the feast as a special time of prayer and sharing, of offering one's suffering. Mary looks with love upon the poor and the afflicted of the world. People like Bernadette, and like those who arrive at Lourdes hobbled by diseases and infirmities. She invites them, as her son invites them, to come to grace. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. The message of Lourdes is the perennial invitation to healing through repentance and renewal in Jesus Christ. At the centennial celebration of the apparitions at Lourdes, Pope Pius XII invited all Christians to make a pilgrimage to Mary in their hearts. Go to her, you who are crushed by material misery, defenseless against the hardships of life and the indifference of men. Go to her, you who are assailed by sorrows and moral trials. Go to her. Beloved invalids and infirm, you who are sincerely welcomed and honored at Lourdes as the suffering members of our Lord, go to her and receive peace of heart, strength for your daily duties, joy for the sacrifice you offer. We should want nothing more than this, joy and sacrifice, peace of heart, and the strength of heaven in our daily duties. These we gain as grace from God at the hand of the Lady of Lords.